salutations my moon children my moon love muffins it is tori the whole dealer of guided intuition and i am here to deliver <laughs> um this moon guidance for a new moon in pisces as we are already in this energy okay but whenever you see this video, this is when this particular message is meant for you. So it doesn't matter if you see it today, if you see it four days from now or a year from now, but whenever this video shows up in your life, this is a timeless, this is a timeless message, okay? So, honey, <laughs> as you can see from this title, this is going to be the plot twist. All right, I really feel like this new moon in Pisces is really going to bring you the new beginning that you have been waiting on. All right, I know that up until this moment, probably for a couple of years now, some months, some weeks, some days, we have really been um, experiencing, experiencing and um, really shedding and going through some things, honey, to really help us live our authentic truth, to really help us really um, come into the desires of your heart. Maybe there is something that you've been asking for, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a career opportunity, whether it's your business, whether it's in yourself. Maybe you want to travel the world. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to launch something. It's something that you've really been passionate about and you've really been asking for whether you've done it now two months from now six months ago a year ago and you set an intent out in the universe and i really feel like the universe heard your call and i feel like things have been happening in our lives all of us it could be different but to really line you up okay really line you up and though those things may not have felt good <laughs> all right um you know, brought some lessons or brought some some things to help you get out of a current situation to really put you on the path that you are now. Those things can feel not so good, okay? <laughs> I just want to tell you that. I feel like this full moon in Virgo that we left has really, 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 um, you know, it, it was an energy, honey. It was an energy, um, but I don't take it as a negative because I feel like whatever has transpired or happened in your life is to really get you on this path right now in this moment, okay? So you can really experience what's going on. <laughs> so um, I don't think I want to really spend too much time talking about um, what energy we were just passed in. I really want to really focus on what this moment and where we are going because this new moon in Pisces, there's no more reflecting on the past, okay? There's no more being stuck. I really feel like everything that you've been experiencing in your life has really put you in a position to really make a decision, a sound decision so you can go forth, okay? <laughs> All right, and I really feel like... um. Being that you've made a sound decision, being that you've made up your mind, being that you have surrendered whatever it is and you've really opened to the universe, all right, this is the plot twist that a lot of you have been waiting on. This is the aha moment that um, <laughs> we have been waiting on. I really feel like whatever you've been experiencing in your life, um, I know for myself, I had to realize that you know, I can no longer blame certain people, certain situations, and I'm, I took accountability for myself. And this is a common trend that we've, we're seeing in everyone, that everyone is taking ac accountability for their self, okay? So being that you are taking accountability for your life, you're no longer looking at the past, you're moving forward, you are, you know, forward on movement, honey. With this new moon in Pisces, what... Being that you are in that mindset, being that you are focused in that avenue, okay, you are going to be overcoming whatever adversity, you know, that um, was in front of you. For all of us, it could be different things, okay? However, the plot twist is you win. You win. This is what this new moon in Pisces is letting us know. The plot twist is, is that you win. You win. You win. All right. 
And being that you have took control of your life, being that you have looked at things, examined things, moved some things around, let some things go, added some things, <laughs> okay, it has really helped you overcome the adversity that you may have been fa um, facing, you know, and you've realized that you're the creator of your reality and anything that you don't want to see and anything, okay, <laughs> um, that is not meant for you. I feel like a lot of us has been shedding and letting it go and really coming into our truth, really standing tall, all right, in who we are and the desires of our heart. And that is what's bringing this abundance, all right, this new beginning, this new outlook, this new feel, this new energy. I know that it's been dense. All right. However, I feel like you've been getting signs and wonders and things have been act, has, have been adding up. You know, I, I really feel like anytime I ask the universe something, <laughs> honey, the signs will come. So maybe you've been looking for a sign. Maybe this is your sign or even if not ask. And I promise you, it will be given from Esther Hicks, <laughs> as Esther Hicks, as Esther Hicks would say, ask and it is given. All right. So what I want to do is I do want to just pull, I um, want to pull three cards. I went ahead and pulled three cards um, just to see what energy is leaving. All right. And then we're going to focus on what is coming in with this new moon in Pisces. Okay. So the first card that I pulled, I love the star card. Okay. Because in this tarot deck, it means something different than the traditional tarot deck. Um, but it's all about an abundance, okay? I feel like your cup has overflowing and it's all about sharing your cup with others. You, do you get what I'm saying? Like putting others before yourself because you have more than enough, okay? Now, why this has showed up is what energy is leaving is because I feel like all of the things that you have really been experiencing in your life is really teaching you how to hold back on some of the things that you've been giving out amongst yourself or giving out from yourself. I feel like the lessons that you have been experiencing in your life has really teaching you to put yourself first, okay? Where you were giving out, you know, you were um, really probably caring about everyone else, making sure everyone else was good and everyone else was happy. Um, that energy is leaving because now we're really focused on ourself and our happiness. And I know for a long time that we've been taught that that's incorrect, that we should sacrifice ourselves, that, you know, we should sacrifice ourselves for the greater good and, and, you know, things like that. However, in this new moon in Pisces, this is not what it's about. Um, it's more so you keeping what's in your cup for you, you really following your desires, you really, um, you know, following your dreams. Okay. You really being what you've been for everybody else. And I really feel like the things that you've been experiencing in your life has really, um, taught you, you know, how to be okay with that. Because sometimes it's even hard for me to talk about it. So I know that it's hard for somebody right now. <laughs> it's really hard for you to put yourself first. All right. However, in this new moon in Pisces, it's all about you. It's all about you making decisions that are beneficial to you. It's all about you making decisions and lining up with your truth and honoring you. All right. I feel like you have really sacrificed enough. You've really given enough. Now it's time for you to really pour into yourself how you pour into others, okay? So that that energy where you are people pleasing or you put other people's needs and wants before yours, that energy is gone. We're letting that go, all right? Also, what is leaving, okay, as this new moon in Pisces is coming in, we have the five of earth, which talks about insecurity, all right? Um... And, you know, a lot of us has been amending. A lot of us has really been taking that time to examine our insides, honey. You know, really <laughs> um, going deep, really really shedding, really dealing with those, those insecurities, those things that we like to really keep in the dark. We have exposing light to them, okay? We have really exposing light to them. And I feel like um, by you really owning your truth and you really 
um, making it a sound decision, which you already have to put yourself first. This is how you're able to really um, show up in your life. This is how you're able to be present in your relationships, friend, business, work. It doesn't matter. The relationship with yourself. Okay, I really feel like these insecurities that have kept you small, that has kept you hidden, or that has kept you from really going as far as you know in your heart, as I said that, one, 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 that energy is leaving. Those insecurities are leaving, okay? Yeah, look, with the four of fire, completion. It's done. It's done. And this is why this um, (laughs) new moon in... Pisces is the plot twist because I know for sure, honey, y'all are not alone. I don't know if I'm alone. If I'm not alone, dr- drop a, um, <laughs> you know, like the little four leaf clovers in the comments. Okay. Because I know that I have really been closing out some cycles, anything that's really kept you small or kept you nervous. You know, you really want to do it, but there's just this, this, there's this doubt. There's this fear. There's just this insecurity. It's completed. It's done. It's done. And I really feel like in order for you to show up in this next phase, this this stage in your life that you are currently in, really shine, all right? Really, this had to happen, all right? And this is the plot twist that you've been waiting on. Maybe it had, like I said, maybe it has not been ideal, honey. Maybe, you know, it's, it's it's been a bin, (laughs) it's been a way it's been an energy like oh my god however this is what you've been waiting on this is the plot twist this is the change the story around didn't see this blessing coming your way kind of energy (laughs) all right that is what is going on so we're going to just see what energy is coming in with this um new moon in pisces okay So the first energy that is coming in, my love muffin, ooh, is show the world the real you. All right, full moon in Aquarius. It says, show the world the real you. I can attest to this. I've been doing reading after reading after reading after reading. And um, this whole um, blending in, this whole dimming your light, this whole not following your heart and your desires, That is so last year. (laughs) All right. That is so last year. That is so 3D. And we know that we are in 5D right now. And um, I really feel like this is why it may have been so hard. All right. Whatever you were shedding, the insecurities that you really let go, you've let those things go. So now you can really be yourself. You can show the world the real you. You can share your gifts. You can share your heart. All right. This is what this is what you've been waiting on. Okay. And now you're able to really shine through. This is what this new moon in Pisces is all about. It's all about you showing you being you showing up for you. And I know sometimes that can be a little scary, (laughs) you know, but I invite it. I invite it. And I promise you, maybe, you know, you know, you're, you're really stepping, you know, into this and it's a little nerve wracking, but I promise you, sometimes we have to sit within ourselves. Okay. And we have to face these insecurities. We have to face these things, you know, that we don't desire to face so we can have this completion. All right. So you can really show up. All right, whatever in whatever place that you're desiring, whether it's in love, all right, whether it's in love, whether it's in your career, whether it's in your friendships, it doesn't matter. Okay? But with this new moon in Pisces, it's really going to help you show the world the real you. All right? And if you may be nervous about really sharing yourself, Okay, there is no more being stuck. There is no more, (laughs) you know, honestly, I want to tell you this. It's like, how do I say this? But um, I don't feel like it's an option anymore. Things are going to happen in your life where you have to show the real you, where you have to be true to you. Things are going to happen in life. Okay, so you can either go with the flow and just and just go 
or you can fight against it, but at the end of it, this is your only option. You're going to have to be yourself. This is the time and age. This is a space that we're in right now. It's all about us being true to ourselves. All right. The next energy that's coming in with this new moon in Pisces is it's time to take action. And this is something that I (laughs) have really been, you know, executing in. Procrastination is out of the window. I really feel like there has been some amazing opportunities that's come your way. All right. And, you know, due to waiting, um, not moving forth or, you know, procrastination, you have missed some opportunities where in this new moon, okay, and um, Pisces is really going to help you get structured, structured in taking action, moving forward, being firm and standing firm, you know, in what you desire, but also taking the nece- necessary steps in that direction. No matter if it's small, big, medium, it doesn't matter, but forward movement. OK, that's what it's all about. There's no more standing still. OK, no more standing still. And if you ch- if you choose to stand still. In, we'll just say it's a river. If you choose to stand still, you can either go with the flow or you can stand still. But when those waves and those ripple hit you, you know, it could be harsh. It could hurt. It could, you know, make you uncomfortable instead of just, you know, okay, I don't know where I'm going, but going with the flow, you're still, you're still in sync, but you're going, whether you get pushed by those waves or you just willingly float. Okay. Because now it's a time to take action. Is what spirit is really showing me. And I'm so sorry, guys, if you hear my nieces and nephews in the background. So let's see what other energy is coming in also. Yeah, look. (laughs) With this new moon in Pisces, it says the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Like I said, you know, maybe you've been stuck in the middle. Okay, you've been stuck. You've been stagnant. You've been trying to figure out something with this new moon in Pisces, it's going to help. It's going to bring you the answers you need in order to move forward. There's no more being, um, you know, split in two. There's no more being in the past, being in the, you know, in the future, you know, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. And um, maybe you've been waiting on, you know, you've been waiting on an answer. You've been waiting on clarity. Like I told you, ask the universe to show you signs. They're coming. All right. Be very mindful, you know, um, of your surroundings in this new moon in Pisces, because whatever you ask for, whatever sign that you ask to show you (laughs) what, you know, you're definitely going to be getting these downloads. It's definitely going to be, um, you know, shown to you. So you can really look forward to that. All right. We also have step out of your comfort zone. (laughs) Like I told you, um, in this new moon in Pisces is really going to put you in a place to show the world, the real you. And for a lot of us, honey, it's okay. It's okay. It can be very uncomfortable. All right. To really show who you really are, to really go for what you truly desire. All right. But this is the way, this is how you really get the love that you desire, really get the dream job or the dream place or the dream life that you know in your heart is yours. This is the way how you create these things is by stepping out of your comfort zone. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. You know, and I know that can feel, you know, (laughs) maybe that's why you've been stuck in one place, you know, afraid to move. For, for the simple fact that it's not the norm. None of the things that we are doing are the norm. However, even though it may be scary, you cannot tell me that there is just this excitement that just bubbles up inside of you, okay? By you stepping out of your comfort zone, this is how you get the plot twist. And disclaimer, you win. <laughs> all right. The plot twist. This is how this story is going to turn, turn all the way around. But it is going to require you to really step out of your comfort zone. It is going to require you to really show the world the real you. It is going to require you to take action, make a sound decision and move forward in that, in, in that decision. 
no matter how big, no matter how small, but it's important to take steps, baby steps, giant steps, toddler steps. It doesn't matter, but it's going to require you to show the world the real you, honor yourself, honor your desires, make a decision, take some action and trust the universe. The answers you need are coming that everything will be provided for you. And maybe you just really coming into that mindset It scares you because that's out of your comfort zone. But that is how you're going to get the desires of your heart. All right. Yeah. It also has communication is key. Is this messing up? I'm so sorry, guys. (laughs) Communication is key. I apologize. It was so out of focus. Oh, if any of the cards are out of focus, I sincerely apologize. (laughs) But yes, communication is key. And this is what um, this new moon in Pisces is going to help you with. But the more so the communication with yourself, checking in with yourself, making sure that you are good, like you have made sure that everyone else is good and happy. okay, and fulfilled. It's more so you learning how to communicate with yourself how to trust yourself, how to truly rely on yourself, how to be alone within yourself and know that you're more than enough. All right. That's the gifts that this new moon in Pisces is really going to, um, you know, bless us with. And in these, like I said, this is the plot twist that you've been waiting on. This is the turnaround that you've been waiting on. You know, I truly feel that way. Now, Just want to see for each soul. Oh, this is the foundation that you've been waiting on. You know, some of you are really getting a new foundation, a new place, a new place to start. Okay. And I feel like your intuition is telling you to do something, go somewhere, be somewhere, see someone, you know, but you, you know, it's out of your comfort zone. So you're a little nervous, but I'm telling you communication is key. What is yourself telling you to do? What is yourself asking of you? And I feel like for a lot of you, yourself is asking you to make a decision. The boats, it's all about a spiritual decision. So if you were not afraid, what would you do? If you knew you would not fail, what would you do? Where would you go? What would you be? What would you see? If you knew you could not fail. And I really feel that's the route that you need to take. And maybe you need to ground yourself to really, you know, figure out this decision and make this decision because it may be a little scary. But I'm telling you, it's scary because it's out of your element. It's out of your comfort zone. But what is yourself? What is your heart asking of you? What is your heart asking of you? Because right now, I truly feel like with this new moon in Pisces, it's really going to really strengthen the communication, the connection and the communication between you and yourself. That's the relationship. All right. Let's just see what else spirit has to say. Yeah, look, (laughs) with the eight of, um, you know, the eight of vessel deals with the rebirth. Okay. And I feel like, um, you know, whatever you have been not making a decision about, okay, that you've been really in a hard place. I feel like this has really been a challenge for you. To make this decision, it's really been a challenge. However, when you make a decision, when you make a sound decision, all right, to really listen to your heart, okay, this is when you will have this rebirth, all right? And this is what this um, new moon in Pisces is bringing in, a grand rebirth, (laughs) all right? A a damn good plot twist that I'm telling you that you, that you, that is well-deserved, You have to get in position in order to receive, okay? And that requires you to step out of your comfort zone. So my moon children, (laughs) let this new moon in Pisces bless you. Let it be the plot twist that you've been asking for and praying for. All right, let it give you the abundance that you seek. Let it show you the magic 
Okay, I love you guys so freaking much. And as always, I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and so much peace. And I will catch you on my channel. Take care.